key of D sharp minor. I wanted to say open D sharp minor, but there's nothing open about this. Um, it starts, take a screenshot of it. It's the um, last staff there. The frets, fret numbers, starts on the fourth string. That's your finger. That's your fingering as well. So the same frets and the fingering is the same. The relative major of D sharp minor is F sharp. F sharp has six sharps. D sharp minor has six sharps. Right there. Cycle of keys. Circle of fifths. Pretty sounding scale. So we're going to start the fourth string first fret with your first finger play the third fret fourth string and then the fourth fret fourth string with your first third and fourth fingers chain strings to the G string same thing first third fourth frets with your first third and fourth fingers so from the beginning D sharp and I like using my second and fourth fingers you could use your first and third. I like using my second and fourth, so I'll leave it up to you. Second and fourth frets on the second string. First string, first fret, first finger. Second fret, second finger. Fourth fret, fourth finger. Slide up, just, I'm stopping at the A sharp. Uh, Go all the way up there if you want some sliding, but I think it's adequate to keep it right where I have it. There's your scale. I gave you a couple extra notes. It's an easy scale to play to remember. to play. Here's a D sharp minor. Okay, you're barring the sixth string. You're playing the um, little A minor shape right there. Your second finger is going to be on the <clears throat> second string seventh fret. Fourth finger on the third string. 8th fret, 3rd finger on the 4th string, 8th fret. You can also just use, you strum it from the 5th string down, and you also can just strum it from the 4th string down, putting your 1st finger on the 1st string 6th fret. You can also just use your Second, fourth, and third fingers strumming from the f this fourth, third, and second strings. So, yep, you can play your first position, meaning that the root is on the sixth string. The root on this this form right here is on the fifth string, sixth fret. That's your D sharp. But you're only, you know, once again, you're only <clears throat> borrowing the first five strings with the first position bar chord. Well, I like 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 to to explain here. I'm borrowing all six strings on the eleventh fret, and my third and fourth fingers are making that open E minor shape. 
And they're on the 13th frets, 5th and 4th strings. If I want to, I can make a D sharp minor 7th. You can also make that D sharp minor 7th like this, where my, your 3rd finger will bar the 4th, 3rd, and 2nd strings on the 11th fret. Your 2nd finger is playing the D sharp or the 11th fret on the 6th string. You're muting the 5th string. And you don't play the sixth string, so you just strum it from the sixth string down to the second string, once again with the fifth string muted. That's a D sharp minor. This is the D sharp minor seventh, just with your first finger and your third finger. It's pretty sounding. pretty um, that's just about the last uh, open scale I'm going to go over with you guys um, there's technically a few more like I never went over G flat but I do go over F sharp major and G flat and F sharp are, are known as N harmonic that means they're the same scale just with a different name and they would start on the same fret okay so, you can also play these um, D sharps, you know, the, the A form. Check out my previous videos to learn how to do that. And you have uh, C form as well, you know. C-sharp pentatonic. They all work very well if you're in the key of F-sharp major or D-sharp minor. Okay, this is going to be a shorter video today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like and subscribe. Keep playing. Have fun.